Hi, so welcome to Jess's journey. This is going to be a little segment on my channel um, of me going to places across Northern Ireland, either by myself or with my lovely boyfriend John. <laughs> so today we are at Castle Espy, which is a wetland centre. There's also lots of birds here for John to take pictures of. Uh, so that will be interesting. I have never been here before. John's never been here before. So yeah, let's go get our wellies on. So straight off the back, it's absolutely freezing. I would recommend scarves, boots, coats, all the rest of it because it's very very cold but so far the car park looks lovely oh my phone excuse me <laughs> oh. so here we are in castle espy we just had lunch in the kingfishers cafe it was lovely um so yeah just follow us around I'm about to feed some ducks. I am not prepared. They all know that I'm going to feed them. Here we are at the nature reserve. We've just fed the ducks. Well, tried to. No ducks would come over to me. Um, yeah, this is the map of where we are. We are here. And we're going to be doing everything on this map. It is, I'm not gonna lie, getting colder by the minute. <laughs> My hands and nose are frozen, but welcome to Northern Ireland. Let's go explore the pond zone. Oh. <laughs> there might be alligators in here. In a pond. Yes. Cute. I'm sad. Because there's no frogs. I wanted to see some frogs. But there's no frogs. But we found out there's such thing as a water spider. No, absolutely not. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Are you having a good time? I am having a good time. Good, I'm glad. Bye. <laughs>
Welcome to my Stone Age home. So this is my home. This, as you can see, is the living room and bedroom, kitchen and bathroom. This is where I like to sweep the floor. As you can see, it's incredibly clean. And I got a lot of cleaning on with this hard brush. I'm very house pride, as you can tell. This is where I have all my friends around for dinner. And we sit all along the wall because who has time for chairs? This is one of my boats that I have and I use it to catch fish which I don't eat because fish are gross and I cook the fish that I don't eat in this fire in the middle of my living room as you can see for some reason even though I am a stony age lady I have windows which are not made of glass they're made of plastic which I thought you could open but apparently you can't oh I was wrong, you can open this one. So if the house ever went on fire, I could not fit out there. Hello again. So you see my house, come in to see my summer home. As you can see, it's basically the exact same layout, only one tiny difference. We have a skylight, which is completely and utterly useless because there's no glass over it. So when it rains, it rains inside as well. As you can see, it's very well equipped to be a living room, a dining room, a bathroom and a bedroom. Just the same as my house, only it's a tiny bit smaller. So, thank you for coming to explore my life in the Stone Age. Come again. Bye! So... I just used a toilet that apparently turns your waste into compost. Don't know how it works, but I just single-handedly saved the planet. <laughs> no, I didn't. But yeah, that's very interesting. There's a whole thing about it over there, like a, how they work it, you know, what it actually does, how it does it. It's very strange, but anyway. Um, so as you can see, this absolutely gorgeous scenery here. And if you look straight ahead of you, you'll see Scrabble Tar. All the way over there. Yep. And that, dear viewers, is where I live. Not in Scrabble Tar, but I live over in that direction. That's, my mum taught us that anytime you see Scrabble Tar in the distance, you know you're always nearly home. Where are we going, Jessica? We're going to see if we can see any fairies with the fairy doors and the Wildwood play area. So basically what you need to do here is to take the fairy door, make a wish at the wishing tree and as you can see loads of people have made wishes and I'm going to make mine to leave my coins for the fairies. Here we go. As you can see, this is 
Very well done. <laughs> I would have moved by now. Yeah. You're gonna go in that. Oh my god, it's real? She'll be fine. I just don't want you to find out how they get into this realm. So that was Castle Espy. I really enjoyed that. I definitely recommend it. Probably would recommend it more in the summer because it's quite cold. Um, but you kind of get used to the cold after a while, but again, that's Northern Irish weather for you. Um, I enjoyed everything. We played in the park as well because I'm fine. But yeah, I'm sad that it's over. So. Yeah, I give this uh, National Trust site 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Definitely 10 out of 10. Worth the money. Bring your kids along if you have any. It was good fun. Hello again. We are back with another one on Jess's Journeys. And today we are at Nendrum Monastic site. Oh, guys. So today we'll have a wee look around, um, it's absolutely freezing again, it's windy um, but the view is absolutely beautiful. So if you're coming down here in the car, I would definitely recommend bringing a camera, bringing a tripod and having a wee stop off and a wee Jeffrey juke at the scenery. Um, so this site is basically... Uh, maybe 10 minutes away from Castle Espy where we were yesterday so that's why I'm putting it all in the one video because it's very close by. Um, as you can see not very many people are here this is kind of the only car park in the area um, it seems to be a pretty popular place for dog walkers so we've had a few people with dogs walk past already um, but yeah come follow us enjoy well what does it say educate us this is about the tide mills, so it says two previously unknown tide mills were discovered and excavated between 1999 and 2001 have added a new and very exciting element to the archaeology of them. Hello 
John. Hello. How are you? Cold. Yeah, it's freezing, isn't it? It's very cold. Freezing. So, um, we would definitely recommend bringing some coats. Coats on. Two coats on. Two huh? coats on. And gloves. Gloves. And scarves. I have a scarf. I have a scarf. Pop the old collar. Yeah, pop the old collar. Well, I think that this is very beautiful. Definitely a photo opportunity for all you photo buffs. This is the outer enclosure. So it says, you are now in the outer enclosure where most of the farming activities of the monastery took place. Here's a little picture. It's like a bird's eye view. So this right here in front of us is the corn drying kiln. That's it. Mm -hmm. So we, I think we're at the top of the hill, um, behind me is the remains of the old monastery I think, well I don't know because I can't see over this wall because I'm too short, but um, yeah you can go on right here so that's where we'll go next. It's funny how things like this, you know, are still here, obviously I know they're ruins but like they're not completely ruined and it just adds to this whole mystery of like what happened here you know what kind of things went on and what were the people like I don't know maybe it's just me that thinks about stuff like that but I just find it really interesting and I guess that's what this series is set out to do you know just to find out more about Northern Ireland and where I'm from and things like that but I'm really I'm enjoying it it's really opening my eyes to a lot of things and I hope it is for you guys too so thank you for coming to explore the Nedra Monastic site with me. Um, I find it really interesting, really, really beautiful views. Definitely, definitely bring a coat because it's absolutely freezing. So next we're going to go and see Mahi Castle, which is basically just a five minute walk up the road. Hopefully there's some information there so I'll be able to inform you all about that. So let's go. This is Mahi Castle. It's literally a two to three minute walk away from where we were a minute ago. Um, so yeah, let's go explore. So this is our last stop of the day. We are at Skeptic Castle, which is on Skeptic Island, situated in White Rock, County Down. Now this castle was actually built in the 12th century, a pretty long time ago. Let's have a look around. Ironically, even though the 
this castle was under so many different attacks, it wasn't any of them that caused them to crumble. It was actually a really, really violent storm in 1896 that caused the ruin of this castle. So we've explored a lot of historical sites. Thank you very much for watching the first episode of Jess's Journeys. Who knows where we're going to go next time. Bye!